what? He could have lived in some native village, you know. That's true. Got taken in by some family. I can sort of imagine a thing like that. After seeing it in the movies a million times, you can imagine it. Well, it happened. I suppose he could have married some half-caste girl, too. Maybe. My gosh, you don't suppose he actually... Don't get any ideas, Susan. He's too old for you. 21 isn't too old. I've dated a fellow who goes to college. This won't be any college boy type. Not after what he's been through. You just said he was like everyone else. Well, naturally, he'll be more mature.
You know Mary Ellen and Susan? Sure, hello there. Jeffrey's gone upstairs to breakfast. He'd like to. Oh, uh, I think we better be going. Unless there's anything we can help you with. Maybe later. Is it all right if we come back? Of course. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Sam like that. You've got her feelings most likely. Ugh, nonsense. 
She told me to say worse than that about Sam Benson. You don't suppose anything's wrong with the boy? Like he had his head? For Pete's sake, Mabel, there just isn't enough trouble to suit you. You gotta look for her under the bed, heat it up from underground with a pitchfork. Wouldn't be surprised if they praying for trouble like they pray for rain. You know, I, I rarely get sick. You got new curtains. They're a year old. How's Jesse? Jesse's all right. She's growing up very fast now. Where is she? She's upstairs getting dressed. I was wondering what she say to you. Now, Frida, I was going. to Larry? Yes. How did he sound? Sounds all right. Where was he? California somewhere. California. It should be good to see him. I was sure he was dead to me. And I can feel it. One time I stood out in the backyard pajamas. It was about three in the morning. I cried. I haven't cried since I was eight years old, but I cried then. My nose started to hurt, like when I was a kid. I never told you that, Frida. It was four months before we, before I left you. Frida, I had to come. I heard he was alive, and I knew he was coming, and I had to be here. Can you understand that? Yes, I can understand that. I'm his father. I said I can understand it. Frida, does he know about us? No. 
He looked very grown up. Yes, I know you want it for tomorrow, Nettie. But you can't leave now. Your brother's coming home. I'm 16. I know. Yes, you can trust it yourself. I'm, she can't make any deliveries now, Nettie. It's good to see you, Jesse. Whose idea was that? What's the matter? It looks like a funeral or something. Jesse, do you mind if I linger over here? No. No business asking something like that right now. Well, I'd rather be doing something than just waiting here. Why don't I go get ice cream or something? We ought to have some. Well, all right, if you think so. Does he have all that cake? He does. I have money. Just as right. We should have some ice cream for later. This ought to be enough for a couple. My treat. It's gonna be whatever you think. There, take it. What's the matter? I thought you said you wanted some ice cream. Jesse, it's Benson. We got news. We're in here. We thought we'd better warn you. All the people out there. Before they start in, Mr. Fox couldn't have his parade, so he's got the whole band lined up on your front lawn. It's gonna look like a circus out there. That's nothing, they're just tuning up. Wait till they start to play something. Look, here comes her right the whole bunch. I never thought they'd make such a fuss. Who's that coming through the door? You remember Mrs. Fitch? Don't forget her. I didn't think she'd still be walking around. She is, and still keeping first grade, too. Hello, Mrs. Fitch. Where is it, Benson? Mind if I come in? Of course not. I'm too old for crowds, but I don't intend to miss anything. I was just saying I'm surprised how many people are out there. Huh. And notice Claudia's been over the event of someone's mother-in-law who visited from Kansas for two weeks. Larry's coming back at the big.
I said, who are you? What's the matter? Haven't you got any ears? Dad, I just walked in here a couple minutes ago. What are you playing games for? What's your name?
look what you're doing to the girl. Dad, please. Don't call me that. Mr. Benson, let me talk to him alone. This has gone far enough. Please, I'm not into the kitchen stamp. Are you crazy? It might not even be safe. <coughs> let go!
I felt everyone looking at me. And he came in here and put his arms around me. I felt like falling to the floor. And I felt like crying for my son. No, I tell you, I'm going no. in there and you're not going to stop me.
stings. Rita, he just looked at me. What did you want him to do? I wanted him to cry. He did cry. Rita, where's Larry? I don't know. We've got to know. How can you sit there and be so calm? My insides are twisted up. Do you know that? I'm not talking about a hunk of meat, Frida. I'm talking about our son, Larry. I want to know what happened to him. I want to know, too. I want to know now. Maybe we went in there and sat down with him. Maybe if we were quiet. Did he do any good? Why not? Sam, he doesn't know. He knows. He's got, he's got to. Crazy. Go home. No. It would be better. Frida, I said no. I have to stay just for tonight. I'll sit up in a chair. I wonder if he likes the curtains. What? The curtains in his room. They're the kind he pulled shut with a cord. Larry always wanted that. I don't understand how you can. I'm staying here. Just for tonight. Tomorrow I can go and try to find out where Larry is. Yeah. We'll try. We'll call the army. Make inquiries. Maybe down to the hospital. They've got some records. Yeah. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. And there's no one who can make me not afraid anymore. my mother, and she asks my name. They don't know me. You're shaking. 
didn't leave here. He didn't. turn into a lovely young lady. I haven't been here for a year. I'm sorry I missed that year. Here's your coffee, Sam. You don't have to bring it out here. Are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Spend the night thinking. All night. It's a very hard thing to do. Think about everything that happened to you. Thank you. 
push some buttons, and the whole thing starts moving up and down, and some little cards fall out of it. They've got millions of cards, and the right ones come out. I saw the machine once. I thought of it last night. Larry's card is in it. All we have to do is call him. It's Sunday. So what if it's Sunday? What do you think, they shut the whole army down on Sunday? There's got to be some place they can call. That's what telephones are for. What should we do? Go to church? I forgot you were sugar and cream. I don't understand you. I know. What are you thinking about? It's like I know him. He walked over and didn't get me to sleep last night, Sam. He came into my room. I was crying. I must have woken him up. I feel like I'm walking around inside a vacuum here. I keep asking myself questions, and you're playing make-believe, like a child. He's sick, Sam. So he's sick. What's that got to do with you? You're Larry's mother, not his. He knows us, Sam. Can't you see that? He knows us. All right, he knows us. Let's get him in here and find out how. Where is he? in his bag, and he never opened his mouth. He couldn't. Can't you see that, Sam? You can't shout at this boy. He won't hear you. Let me talk to him. He had Larry's picture. Ask him about the picture. I will. He's coming back to the house. Ask him about the picture. I'll talk to him, Sam. I'll ask him about the picture. But I've got to talk to him alone. No, it's better that way. Did you change your mind about coffee? The grass is doing pretty well. I don't get out there as much as I should. I used to like to lie in the grass and read. I fall asleep out there.
going over. We got seasick together. Danny was real sick. I stole some tea bags. Went to make him tea, but hot tap water. And we talked. What did you talk about? Home. I just wanted to hear about home. Then, when he was feeling better, he tried to teach me how to play the harmonica. Everything I could think of. What it was like to have a family. Things we did together. The way we loved each other. Mom, you should have seen his face when I told him about our home. I showed him my pictures, my school pictures, and everything. He just threw me in the mud hole. Nine days. Smell the earthworms in there.
strange valley, your boy runs with another boy, a friend, and it's a brother. <coughs> and death chooses between them and finds that. And you think that that's the end of hoping. But it isn't. It isn't, Sam. 